Four. It is a mess out there, and there's a threat of severe weather tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella. We have live team coverage for you from Long Island to New Jersey. We want to start with Dave Price tracking the conditions for your neighborhood. All right. April showers are one thing, but look at that last four seconds with Greg Sergal holding on his hat for dear life. The wind's really beginning to kick up right now. The cloud deck is low. The rain onslaught continues, and we look at the Staten Island Expressway right now. It's moving. Moving, but it's not a pretty picture as we head into the early rush hour. We're at 42 degrees. The air is raw, complicated by 29 mile per hour wind gusts, sustained winds at 13. The live radar pictures, you can take a look. Now moderate to heavy rainfall rolling from, let's say, 87 through Rockland County, up through 84, across to Danbury, down to 87, over to 95. It doesn't matter where you go. There's Storm Tracker 4's red sweep. It's right at Rutgers University, close in, the closest radar, which gives us the most advantage as we take a look at where this rain is and what's happening in real-time terms. Out to the south and west towards Philadelphia, you can see we have thunder and lightning reported. It is an, uh, well, it's actually kind of an exceptional run of weather for us as we begin April after a record-setting March. More rain expected, wind Winds right now sustained at about 22, but gusting to 41 at Islip, 47 miles per hour at White Plains, 33 at Trenton, 26 in Sussex. We have airport delays which have built through the afternoon and which will continue to be complicated by the winds, which could max out at about 65 miles per hour out on Long Island and 55 miles per hour inland as you go beyond the coastline of Connecticut and into New Jersey as well. As far as the rest of the evening, more sloppy weather. We haven't even begun to talk about snow and ice for some. When does it all end? We'll have those answers in just a couple of minutes. But on this busy day, let's head back to both of you for more of the headlines and the weather. And Dave, let's talk more about New Jersey, where many places are on alert right now. There's a lot of concern about flooding, especially in the areas near rivers. Let's get out to News Force Adam Harding. Continue our team coverage live in Wayne. Adam. And good afternoon to the both of you. As the governor put it, 19 of the state's 21 counties right now dealing with the potential of that severe weather and certainly keeping tabs on rivers and homes that are near bodies of water. And for folks here in Passaic County, they have dealt with this time and time again, especially in recent months. Folks, they are sick of it. With up to an additional four inches of rain forecast across New Jersey, families who live along the water are once again bracing for potential severe weather. What are you worried about today? Mainly just the ability to get in and out of the ends of the roads. That's usually where it floods the worst. Maureen Hickey, like many across Passaic County, ready to wave the proverbial white flag. She took these photos from the flooding back in December. When Mother Nature struck again weeks later, she and her kids had to leave. She can't stomach the idea it could happen again. How frustrating have these last few months been? It's been really bad. Like, this is the worst it's been since we moved in here like five years ago. In communities like Lincoln Park, you might say they've become so numb to the endless cycle of what feels like never-ending rain. The governor today warning of the evening commute, which could also see thunderstorms. He's urging everyone to stay inside if possible. We've got 21 counties in New Jersey. 19 of them are either on a flood watch or a flood warning. The Passaic and Raritan rivers are a particular concern. This is a consistent theme, unfortunately, particularly over the past several months. Our only concern right now is flash flooding, and we haven't had that just yet. Patterson's mayor says the city worked to clear catch basins. They have roadblocks at the ready, and they're awaiting word on a grant to build a flood resiliency wall along McBride Avenue. It's a long way of saying they've been through this time and time again. We've never seen a year like this. Four months in and just constant rain. And it's not just the rain causing problems. Don't forget about the wind. What's worse today, the rain or the wind? The wind. Are you sick of all this bad weather? Yes, I am. Yeah, it's rain every day. 
And we have not mentioned how cold it is with all of that rain and the wind. So by the expression, April showers bring May flowers, I think it's safe to say here in Passaic County, at least, they'll have a lot of beautiful flowers come this time next month. Ahead at 6, as we brace ourselves for the evening commute, which, as I mentioned, could see thunderstorms and more severe weather in the hours ahead, how the state is now preparing on a much larger scale here. We'll talk about how unusual this weather pattern has been as folks here cross their fingers, hoping this is it for the rain. We're live in Wayne tonight. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York. Yeah, let's hope so. Adam, thank you. It's not just New Jersey, though. There are some flooding concerns on the south shore of Long Island, especially now, which is during high tide. Don't know if you caught the quick reflexes <laughs> of Greg Sorgel to hold on to his cap. He almost <laughs> lost it, but here's success. How are things looking in Bayshore, Greg? Well, David, I definitely need a tighter hat on days like today, and my umbrella has already fallen victim to the high winds out here. When we arrived here in Bayshore a little while ago, uh, one of the neighbors said to me, if you're looking for flooding, you've come to the right place. The good news here right now is that there's only minimal, minimal water in the streets here, no major flooding to report. Uh, but again, high tide is coming later tonight. We ventured earlier today into downtown Bayshore, where we saw the rain coming down at a pretty good clip. And as I said, those winds whipping. Uh, we spoke to some folks who told us that uh, they've already seen flooding in their homes and uh, on some streets in their neighborhoods. And we also talked to folks who said they've had enough of this dark and nasty weather. I mean, I like the rain normally, but it is, you know, causing more flooding even in our house. Uh, I think even our office is flooding a bit. Um, but the other concern is, is anytime it rains, uh, the trains, they run a lot slower. I feel like we've moved to Seattle and nobody told us because it rains every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> Now, again, as I said, the tides are rising in this community near Great South Bay. High tide is expected tonight, a little after 6 o'clock. And that's when the residents here could see that street flooding they've come to expect on days like today. We're live in Bayshore. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York. Greg, thank you. And now is the perfect time to download the free NBC4 New York app if you don't have it already. Storm Tracker 4 will give you really the clearest picture of these storms. It's right at your fingertips. You can also sign up to get those urgent weather alerts. That will be sent right to your phone or your tablet.